Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all good. We're up at the workshop again today. This episode is just going to be a bit of a catch up with what we've been up to for the past few weeks. It's been quite busy, mainly getting the Cortina ready for the modified Ford series, which starts on March the 18th. So been working to get to that deadline. It's gone off for his exhaust system up to Edwards Motorsports. We'll be out there for a couple of weeks. When that one's done and dusted, we'll do uh, episodes all on that one on his own. So that one will be filmed today. We'll catch up with what else we've been up to. So a few little things going on up in, up here today as well. So we'll film that. We'll drag something out the, out the garage, do some donuts out the front. But first, breakfast time. Hey, what are you doing down there? <laughs> you alright? Wait for next time. Let's go to breakfast then. Josh, what have you been up to? Uh, I've been quite busy now. I've been uh, doing a bit on the Cortina. As we can see. I've had to write a list so you can remember what I've done. Uh, we've been painting the car, uh, fitting some doors on it, fitting the engine, fitting the clutch, fitting the gearbox in, fitting the rear axle, fitting the coilovers on, four link bars, Watts linkage kit on the back, anti-roll bars front and rear, Got a dry sump tank fitted in the back. What have you been up to? Oh, I've been fitting a roll gauge in my toy. Let's go, let's have a look. Bits of it are in. But I did weld parts in the wrong place, unfortunately. So I might have got to cut that out, but never mind. Trial and error. Trial and error and all that junk. Should have followed the instruction manual. I have got an instruction manual for that bit, but it didn't look how I wanted it to look in the car, so I modified it. Modified to fit. And yeah. what, what, else have you, what else have you done I to the car? I have guidelines, be the words. What else have you done? Bought an engine, gearbox, fitted that into the car. Cut quite a lot of the car up that I didn't want to, but never mind. Things like there. this happen. The old LS3 in the little Avenger. Got about 150 horsepower, I think. Some of that. Is it? Yeah. Make all the lines up to the front. Uh, make uh, the oil footer housing. Bolt that onto the car and make the lines onto the engine, put a breather system on the engine, we've been fitting the fuel pumps, fuel tank, swirl pot, fuel swirl pot in the back, making up the fuel lines up to the front, fitting the regulator, modifying the throttle linkage on the pedal box, fitting the throttle, link, uh, throttle cables, uh, fitting the brake and clutch mass cinders on the pedal box, making up the brake lines, fitting a hydraulic handbrake. Hello! Ah, Barry, what are you up to? I have been waiting since August for Datsun parts and I got bored, so I bought a new engine. Oh. I bought a new engine. What have you bought? I bought a 3.2 litre to replace the 3 litre M3, just for fun. Really. Weren't you supposed to be going on holiday with that money? Why? Barry? Why? No. Barry? <laughs> Barry? Where it's okay, the, the, the family holiday is secure, maybe, it depends if someone buys a 3 litre by the end of the month, if not, 
is cancelled. <laughs> all right. So, so that's it, bread and cheese from now on, is it? Bread, cheese, maybe a pot noodle if you're at a stretch. <laughs> it's all right, because the Datsun's got a new engine. So. As they say, cars come first, family <laughs> comes second. Well, yeah, but we'll, we'll edit that bit out. Don't tell the wife we'll that bit. So, right, so what we are going to do here is we're going to watch a novice. Top of the word here, novice. Try and get this en try and get this engine attached to the engine crane and not drop it. Not novice is generous. Yeah, yeah, and not drop it or break nothing. Oh mate, don't put too much pressure. Yeah, yeah, the professionals are going to watch. Building up the front alley hubs, wheel bearings, AP brake kit fitted on there. Uh, front track control arms, tension strut kit, uh, steering rack, track rod ends. Steering arms, uh, making the electric power steering out of coarser parts, making all that fit and fitting the steering wheel. We've been, uh, oh, what else have we been doing? A bit of wiring on it, started a bit of wiring, fitted the lights and got all the lights going and little bits and pieces. Fitted the wheels, it's now rolling around. It's getting close. So you've been busy then? Yeah. Got one task, one job. Yeah. Make sure we crush it like that cable there. There you go. Right. You yeah. take it, yeah. Josh, cup of tea on the table out here. Cup of tea out here. The old bag's got the teas out. I like old bag. Oh, child. The old bag, look, there's the old bag. Bye. She's got the tea made for us. Look, tea and biscuits. Yeah. Team tea and biscuits, she comes in handy for some things, I suppose. Right. Steady the concentration on his face, Joey. Come on. Up there. Oh, mate, which way does it to go down? I can't remember. Right, that's the steering berry for a start. That's the steering. So what you gotta do, you see that, you see that little, you can get me a finger in the picture here, there. That little bit just there, that little orange handle stuck out down there in it, next to the pipe work. That's he. Oh, he's clever this chap. Steady. Yeah. That's it, get your hook in. Yeah, we have been half hour so far. And we still don't have this engine out the back of my van. Cup of tea, cup of tea, it'll be cold in a minute. That's right, you do these things together. I've got to do it on my own. No, 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 don't give me that shrike. Oh, I can feel some weight coming off the van. Oh, 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 beautiful. Now, now I advise you check everything, just to make sure you're not actually yanking on anything you don't need to be. Very, very. Check where the ropes are too. Make sure you're not holding on anything. It's doable. Now you ain't bending. All right, right your end. Cables are squittered. He's just about getting away with that. Same. It's looking good. Yeah, hey, bro. Yeah, it looks good. Off you go. Tally hell. Oh, look at the steamy carpet. I did a thing. <laughs> I'm pro now. I've moved up from all this. He's no longer just the cameraman. I'm pro. He's pro. He's returning him into a worker slowly. Now what do you do with that? Get the manifolds off. Don't need them, this is going to have a exhaust move. And these, these manifolds here, they got Tyrone Ford written all over them. Because this one bangs on the on the steering when you try and fit it in the that since we found out last time. So, if we get them off, don't need that. Viscous fan, power steering pump. Don't need those radiator hoses because the datson has got his own made up to fit. Bit of a degrease and then... Uh, a bit of a degrease and a poolish. What are you doing today? Uh, nicking bits off this old Cavalier engine to put on that sort of tuned 
thing from many, many years ago. What is it? It's a Vauxhall Cavalier SRI engine. With a bit more CC and a bit of a cam in. And it's going to go in... Old Vauxhall Chevette. A little Chevette. Take your 1200 out and put some old 2 litre in. And what's the Chevette for? Not just a road car, just a plane. What else is it going to be for? See if Matt can do any drifting. Woo! So I've been five minutes of taking this one apart. We'll snap some. Whoops. Who's your mate? Look, you've got a spare. What are you doing today, Jack? Hi. What are you doing? Grinding. Covers. Been a bit neglected. Been on and used as a, as a bench for spraying bits on more than working on it. Been mainly on the core team, aren't you? So. Yeah, so, so get that finished and then uh, priorities. Get back on this. What have we done? We've done so far. Well, it's been the uh, trace we make. Can you go in? Yeah. Sometimes. And a roof on it. Got a new roof. Roof and a bit of side. Nearly time to get back on it. So, is that a bit of work done? Yeah, a little bit of work going on. We'll tidy under the engine bay again. We've done it there. Dash is back together, sort of. On. Just a bit of a few panels over there to fit on. A bit of sorting out. Yeah, and then uh, should be good to go again. It's nearly back to normal. Yeah, it's all as it should be in the right places. So. It looks better than it did last time. Yeah, definitely. It's looking a bit straighter. So, yeah, a bit of work left to do. Get it all painted up and then. Um, we get a Cortina finish first, isn't it? Yeah, get the Cortina finish and then we'll uh, panel this up, get some paint on it. Put some bits on it, get a rip in again. Good rallying. Ready to roll over again, yeah? No, it's not funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what do you want to know? Will not let me go. Let me go. No, 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 no. What have you achieved today, Mr. Jack? I have achieved three pieces of metal so far today. So you've got a bit of the gearbox tunnel going in? Yeah. I'm just um, hoping to get the exhaust down in here, through here. Yeah. Um, make some little brackets here so I can make a holder for the bottom of the gearbox. <clears throat> and it's then I've got to make the top stuff. Just, um, it's a big old tunnel. Yeah, it's not big enough either. Right, we're going to pack up now, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll be back at the first race of the Modified Ford Series on March the 18th at Silverstone. So the Cortina will be back, obviously, up and running by then, hopefully. After that, we'll do a full in-depth episode of the Cortina, if it's still in one piece after the first race. And then, yeah, we'll see where we go after that. There's only one thing left to do, and that is... Like and subscribe.